Cue tutorial on using global hotkeys. Okay, first you want to launch Cue it, and then you want to go into your preferences to turn global hotkeys on. In a Mac, it is Command comma. In the older Macs, it's Apple comma. In Windows, it's Control comma. We're in a Mac, so we're going to hit Command comma. Bring up the preference window. Enable global hotkeys. Click OK. Now your global hotkeys is enabled. Global hotkeys will allow you to run Cue it while it's hidden behind other DJ software. Today we're going to hide it behind Serato. Let's go ahead and do that. Hide it behind Serato. You see Serato's open. You can play audio. You have audio playing. You can still run your drops. Like so. Now, the only thing is, when you're in global hotkey mode, say you want to search for a song, you want to type something else, if you start typing, you're going to play drops. You don't want to do that. So what you do is temporarily turn off global hotkeys by hitting the backslash key. On the Mac, it's located below the delete key. Hit that key, global hotkeys is now off. So you can basically go into Serato, you can uh, type a search for something, low audio to something, like so, and you can start playing the audio, whatever you want to do. Now, obviously you want to turn global hotkeys back on. Squiggly key right below the escape key here. We'll turn it back on and then you're back in business <laughs> drop wise. You have your audio playing. You're good to go. It's really that simple. Off, on. Off, on. You're good to go. That's how you rock global hotkeys with Qit and other software.